Hey there everyone, welcome back. Today is another great day in the life of Chad Sinclair. Today is officially go skate day. I woke up early because I got to drop my vehicle off to get its brakes done. Get my brakes done because how bad they are. Look at how smooth it is. So I am super tired because I'm not used to waking up early so I gotta go drop this off and then hopefully it's done by the time I can go to go, go skate day. Listen to how bad my brakes are. So if I know if they drive it or not, this is what I have on my van. 590 kilometers left, 74,982,000 kilometers. All right, so I just dropped the vehicle off here at Cal Tire. And they say it's gonna be a couple hours, so I'm gonna go venture off and uh, wait till they call me. So at King George Boulevard and Old Yale Road or 100th Ave, you got Holland Park here, which has ledges that I'm gonna go hit up, see if they're still skatable. All right, so we're here at Holland Park. It's got a bunch of different uh, sets and ledges. I don't know if the ledges are still skatable, so we're gonna go check it out. But it's literally right here on the corner. Holland Park. It's got these amazing sets and a couple side ledges that you can just kind of like hop on and off. There used to be skate ledges here, but it looks like they took all the wax off. Like you can see, this is where we were grinding, and there's remnants of wax and skateboarding. Wow, so the city actually changed it so they tried to make it so we can't skate them. She like cut it and angled it to try to make it so we can't skate it. Look at that, they even they ruined this ledge. I got some clips on this ledge, so I'll, I'll do a flashback here. That's absolutely crazy that the city would do that. They want to promote skateboarding, but then they're like doing this to spots to make it so we can't skateboard. The ledge was like this, and you can see they put like little skate stoppers everywhere, but it didn't work, so now they angle the ledge. That's crazy. Even the other side, I don't know, maybe they made it better to skate. But from what I can tell, all the wax was removed, and if we're going to want to make this a skate spot again, we're going to have to wax it and skate it. Oh, and today I don't have like a tripod or anything, so I can't really set up my camera. I'm just gonna like put my camera on my helmet most of the day when I'm skating at Go Skate Day. For now, I'm gonna try to like wing it, but it's probably gonna look like garbage. They literally destroyed these ledges. You can still skate them, but it's super, super hard, super sticky. I used to be able to do all sorts of 50 combos, crook combos. Now it's just completely destroyed. I'll try to skate this other side, but no guarantees. You can kind of slide on it, but not really, and grinding, you just stick. All right, so what I was trying to say is it's only nine in the morning and it's already extremely hot and I should probably save my energy for go skate day. Also, the fact is, is that I'm already having SD card errors, so it sounds like today is gonna be already a great start to the day. <laughs> Wire shoelaces actually work really good. They've lasted really long and my shoes starting to wear out more now. I guess while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go venture around Holland a little bit and take a look how, see how it's changed at all and maybe go grab myself a cup of coffee. Bro, that water is so dirty. Oh my God. I wouldn't want to skate across this now. There's a lot of fun skate spots here. It sucks that they don't want us skating here. They even got ducks. Hey Ricky Glazer, those are actual ducks. The other things you're looking at, those are Canadian geese and they're protected by the federal government. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, International Ghost Skate Day is held on Indigenous Day, that's right. Make sure to also celebrate Indigenous Day. We got a vigil hold here at Holland. Yeah, if you weren't aware, they uh, discovered that there was over 200 kids uh, that were murdered uh, back in the day by the Canadian government during, like, you know, the whole takeover with natives and stuff, and it's just really harsh. 
A lot of people don't realize, but I'm actually Métis, which means I'm actually part native. So yeah, I really hit it home for a lot of us and it really sucks. My heart goes out to everybody that's being impacted by this. But yeah, they got a vigil here at Holland and I just wanted to film a little bit of it. Such a gorgeous day out today. Jesus Christ GoPro, that's what I mean. Not even an hour into filming my Go Skate Day, day in the life, and SD card error, saving bugs, uh, glitches, freezing. GoPro, I hate your cameras, literally. They were the best, I thought, but now I've just had nothing but issues and it really sucks. Anyways, let's cross our fingers and pray to the GoPro gods that my GoPro is gonna work for the rest of the day so I can actually film Go Skate Day. I'm just gonna chill until I have to pick up my van and then uh, yeah, I'll film. This building here has the best skate spots, but you get kicked out so quickly. They have all these little nice ledges and they even have these massive air and jaw sets. Look at these sets. They got these sets everywhere. It's kind of funny because I don't see any no skateboarding signs, but I do see this. <laughs> ledges and they got them everywhere even little park benches ledges galore there like it's just perfect it's just the ground kind of sucks but it is what it is see what i mean they got ledges literally everywhere to skate like how do they not expect people to skate like i'm honestly surprised no skaters have actually waxed this out ledge and this ledge here and skated it because it's so perfect except for the fact that i just found a needle it's always fun in games until you fall and get stuck with a needle Question to everybody, if I ended up getting stuck by a needle on somebody else's property, are they held responsible or am I held responsible? Because they should be cleaning up their grounds and their property, because that's absolutely crazy that it's just sitting here on the sidewalk. Anybody could be literally walking by a kid, a dog, and they could get stuck by that. Literally right there. This set is amazing. It actually has enough run up and enough landing space. This is an Aaron Jaws set. Huge 12 stair, definitely doable. Even the park benches are skatable. Ta-da, see? That bench is actually super slippery. I wish I had a filmer. Yeah, it would be so sick. You could actually like hit that ledge there, hit the bench, and then there's like another ledge there you could hit. So d dope here. Wow, another SD card error. So I have no idea if I even recorded what I recorded, but psh. So I just picked up the van, costed almost a thousand dollars. Apparently the front brakes didn't need to be done, just only the rear, but the rotors and calipers and everything, it cost almost a thousand bucks. That's crazy money. Oh, and I'm calling Chris and texting him and he isn't answering, just like every other goat skate day or every other event, he always ends up delaying or not showing up or ditching me and it really sucks. So I don't know if I'm gonna head downtown by myself or if I'm just gonna go home now because like, yeah, I got anxiety and PTSD and I hate doing things by myself or going places by myself. It's always nice to have a friend with you to watch your back, you know? All right, so I'm back in my room, probably just gonna eat some chicken here that I have left over from churches from the other night and just gonna relax and play some Fortnite or something. Pretty depressed that I'm not gonna go to skateboarding day. You know, it's my own fault that I didn't go, but at the same time, it's really hard because mentally I deal with anxiety and post-traumatic stress, so it's really hard for me to go places by myself or do things, but once I'm finally there, it's like a huge relief and like it, it's just really hard to explain and just if you live with it, then you understand. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to stop relying on Chris and either nut up and go or just find somebody else that I can rely on to start going with me to events. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much the day right now and I'll keep you updated if there's any more.